So welcome to uh, my first and last Winter World Camp of 2020. It's been an absolute age since I've been out. As you'll notice, there's not been any videos. Uh, we did try a really local wild camp, but it was flooded, unfortunately. But we're in the frosty North Yorkshire Moors today. And the sun's out as well, which is absolutely amazing. And as you can see in front of me, we've got Phil and John. We enjoyed a, a camp the other week without me. And we've got a little bit of mist in the valley as well, which is nice. But yeah, the Bridestones through Dolby Forest. We've got about a six mile route to do. Just get over this. I want to fall. Yeah, should be a good trip. We uh, might be forecast a little bit of snow later on tonight, but we'll see. We'll see you on the way. Few mile in now, and the uh, paths are well frozen over. As uh, you may have seen earlier, we've been uh, very slippery. I've fallen once, John's nearly gone a few times, and so has Phil. Uh, yeah, the sun's out, and it's very warm now. Uh, you get in the shade though, you can definitely feel that it's uh, one degree. This is in scenery. Very crunchy underfoot. Uh, so we'll head off down into the forest now and round to add a stone rig. We'll see you there. So we've got our guards here telling us which way to go. We didn't, uh, I didn't decide to bring a GPS with me. And uh, a bit of T-section. The right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, we'll uh, actually be in Red Dyke first oh, before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going left instead. But we're going to hit Red Dyke instead of going straight down into the forest. I forgot about that. So, we'll hit the trig point there and then we go down into the forest. But it's just getting more and more snow, which is lovely. Really enjoying this walk. Onwards. made it we're at the Bradstones and that was a nice little walk that fellas it was, it was. just over six mile and it's uh, stayed sunny for us which we're happy about should stay out there uh, until it gets dark but it has been uh, pretty busy up here I presume the snow has brought everybody out so yeah just gonna wait around a bit because we're here a bit early and then we'll uh, get pitched up we'll see you then well, as you see, the sun's starting to set. We've uh, got pitched up on our favourite spot on Bradstones. And what I thought would be a new tent for me has turned out not to be. Now, Phil sold me a long, long time ago the 
Lightwave T10 Trek, which he modified because this little spot here used to be elastic. I sold it and then I bought it back at a really cheap price, not realizing it was exactly the same tent. So, a bonus. So, I've got a few little new bits of kiss to show you. We've got the usual of the uh, Enigma EE30, uh, 10, sorry, um, the X Firm, and uh, I've got new booties to try, Sierra Designs uh, down booties, to try them. I've got my usual uh, Art Blast by Z Packs Cumulus down pants for tonight, it's going to get pretty cold. Uh, Paro jacket by Crooks, which is a decent jacket. So, seal skins, which I'll be changing into soon because I've got wet socks, even though I'm wearing Gore Tex. <clears throat> yeah, but like I said, we set off from Lockton today. Uh, did just over six miles. We just uh, parked outside the graveyard, which is a nice, quiet area. We are local to the area. So it's nice to get out for a camp because, it's, as I said, it's been a long, long time. But we will show you John's tent, which is the Terranova Pioneer 2. Uh, it's quite a decent tent. I didn't rate it when he first bought it. But I look around it, that temperature's dropping quick. It is. <laughs> yeah, we reckon it is about zero degrees at the minute. What quilt's that you got? Oh, yeah. That your E for uh, 10 as well. Yeah. With a uh, long X firm and a few beverages for tonight. And Phil's got a new tent, he's going to tell us all about it. Because I'm quite intrigued by this tent. I've never seen out like it. It's a Avaldi Taurus. Taurus tent. Well. It's, uh, it's got a very weird front door. 1.7 kilos. But it does work really well. Yeah, sure. And you say that it comes off at the other side as well. Uh, all you do is. You unlock it from your pegs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then. And that's cool, that. And that gives you a full open tent. And then you can that away. That's good for condensation, that, isn't it? Yeah. And plus the view, getting in and out is nice and easy to view. Yeah. So. And this is a man who says he doesn't want a, a front entrance tent. And, well, you did get it at a bargain, though, didn't you? Yeah. A very good price. So yeah, they're the tents, quite like this, so I really like this. Uh, he's got my uh, wanted quilt, the E0. He's gone with the, the X-Firm as well, all gone X-Firm. It's meant to be very cold tonight. We're just starting to lose the sun. Everybody seems to have cleared off. Now, unfortunately, there won't be any drone footage because I dropped it earlier and broke a propeller, which is replaceable, thank God. So we're going to cook and enjoy the rest of the evening. So we'll see you later. Now we've got a bit of camp kitchen going. Sat in the cave. And as you can see, it's about minus three now. Temperature's dropping quick. It's meant to get to about minus six tonight, according to the Met Office. So I'll keep on stirring this so it doesn't burn to the, the pan. So, yeah, enjoy a nice meal, nice drink tonight. And we'll catch you in the morning.
good morning. It's getting to about half past eight in the morning on New Year's Eve. Just waiting for the sun to come up. And it got a little bit chilly last night. If you look at John's thermometer, got down to minus 8.2. We're currently minus 5.8. Yeah, very cold. Everybody was toasty warm, weren't they, Phil, last night? Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, but the tents have uh, pretty much frozen over. We didn't get the snow that we wanted. So we'll make a decision about cooking and uh, get packed up. It's been a, another really good trip. Great to be back out again. Oh, yeah. It's, the ground's absolutely solid. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have a sunrise and then uh, get packed up. We'll see you next trip. Uh -huh. 